chose to play this map over Dust2. They got that last ban. They decided they're happy to play Ancient, which did surprise me because Dust2 hasn't been a great map for Anonymo as of late. So I'm hoping Skate are going to show us a really good level here on Ancient. Let's see if I'm right as they start out on the T side, running their way up in towards Jaguar. Yeah, running straight in, trying to split on this B side. They have two players over towards A pushing through Donut right now for Anonymo. And they've actually got that first kill as well. Snacks has been able to pick up Caliber, but they come through camp, they come into the site. Right now for Scared, they're looking to try and get some kills. They haven't been able to do anything, and they're just losing players left, right, and center. In fact, they're down to a 2v4. This is not a great scenario to be in. And finally, a flurry of kills come through, and Duplicate is in a 1v2, but shut down by Black Tears. That was actually a real... Real shot in the dark there for some reason. Hawk kick scared somehow got back into what was a winnable round. And yeah, they did pretty well to bring it close, but not good enough this time for them to get the round win. Those pistol rounds are, are always they're, they're always tough to figure out on the CT side, I feel, because the B rushes can be very dangerous. So you kind of feel like you have to start there heavily. And oftentimes it can still be scary, but Anonymo make it work. And now the Molly and Nade on me could be good. Black Tears lining them up early. Snaps with the Nade to help. Black Tears out of ammo, but Innocent flies in to save the president. Rain Waker also done for. Clean round win for Anonymo. Good to see they've got the, the Nade protocols on mid too. You've got to have the early Molly and Nade like that to stop the aggression. Yeah, it's cool to see uh, Anonymo off to a good start. I, I want to see them be able to perform here in Ancient. You know, in Skid, you were saying, had the willingness. Obviously, we look at the veto. They're, they'd rather go to Ancient than Dust2. Um, so I'm interested to see why that is. Uh, Skid obviously feel like they want to add Ancient into the pool. As you said, they're willing to play pretty much every map in the pool right now. That does mean there's going to be a lot of weak packages. So... I think especially around this level, you know, it's just before you get to tier one, I think the tier one teams are relatively okay having like most of the maps in their pool. Every team will obviously have the weaker ones. Um, but in the tier two scene, you will see a lot of specialist maps. And then as the deeper you go down into the map pool, you will see a level of comfortability from what dwindle and the results become a little bit more unstable. I think Ancient is probably one of the most unstable maps in the pool, obviously, with its uh, being the most recent addition. For uh, for the longest time, we have started to see teams who pick it actually lose it significantly badly. Obviously, we see them win it sometimes, but we have seen those those results. A lot of them don't really make sense. Uh, we don't have all the numbers to go on just yet. So I think it's still a very exciting time for Ancient. How have you felt about it um, settling in? Yeah, I'm 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 still unsure because, like you, I, I I don't know if I see it enough or, or have gone into it enough to figure out exactly what the the meta is like set like right now and i kind of feel like in different games and in different teams like you were saying it can seem to play out pretty differently i will say something i'm excited about for this specific game is snacks on this map because it is one of those massive maps where you should have a lot of chances to get some flanks going to get some sneaky positioning going i mean we saw it at, at cologne dinko we saw carrigan just continue to flank through mid and get these great timings snacks is the sort of player that can do that all day long yeah snacks is um, we made the joke on the first map the fact that he's he's got a portal gun or, so, or something because he's just always in behind he's always in these positions that you just don't expect him to be in yeah, it's crazy stuff out of snacks i want to see more of that ancient could be very exciting to see snacks on uh apologies ladies and gentlemen for the issue of the timer above we we'll try and get that fixed throughout the game but for the meantime hulk and I, hulk will be our timer so hulk i hope you're counting down should be about 1 minute 40 left on that clock now, so just go from that. It was actually 1 minute 43 when you said that. Okay, sorry about that. I've right, got keep, geography keep degree, so I'm smart yeah. like that. I yeah. can keep yeah. track of it. <laughs> Make sure you do that, right? If there's a 5 second defuse, we need to know, Hulk, alright? We need to know. Alright. We got the human clock here, but we are in a round where it should be Anonymo taking this one very easily. Looking to just fight down middle. Dennis Law in the corner at bottom mid has found himself one from elbow. That's a nice deagle. That's not an easy shot to hit at that range. I like the slower round from Skade here. 
after your fast play was just completely shut down in the previous. And getting that kill gets an M4 into the hands of Ships, who also has Kevlar to work with. Anonimo need to respond to that and make sure they don't let this get out of hand. And Kyle has done just that. He's got aggressive over on B. Good info for Anonimo. They can start to be aware that right now it is more likely the A-sided play. There are two players waiting outside B, though, and Kyle has just fallen back. This might get confusing, especially as Ships tries to sell that fake. They've fallen for it right now. Oh. Caliber trying with an eagle. Oh. This is going to be one on the Dennis lot. And Kyler with another one. Caliber out of play. And that's going to be Anonymo with the recovery. Couple of shots are coming through for Skid. Sprinkle of damage in the end. A flawless start here for Anonymo. And for Skid, it's their buy. This is where I really am excited to see. You know, Skid are willing to play inch in a bit. Obviously, they're going to be putting the work in on the practice server. So I'm interested to see what they got on their T side. What set pieces are going to be coming through from them. If anything, um, we have started to see a lot of B hits. I think that's obviously a very similar story to that of Vertigo. B is the site you want to attack the most in, but we have started to see some cool executes in A recently, and uh, that's what we're going to see here. Skate going straight into the AX egg. This flash is definitely the best. You just pop that out of the side of the map, doesn't blind your team, but fully blinds everybody on inside of the site. And the attack from Skid is starting to look a little rough. They've lost the player, and Anonimo just sit back in Temple with that man advantage. It's taken so long for them to get out of that choke point. Those smokes might start to fade soon, and Caliber has to wow. fight aggressively, and he will deliver. Double kill for him. There's still more CT sitting close by, though, and that bomb plant is not... Oh, it, oh, it has come through. It has come through. <laughs> I had it, to figure it out. It's, it's ticking. It's ticking over there. And Hawker... I hope you're counting now with that bomb plant. It's about 30 seconds, I'd say, on that. Maybe under 20 at this point. Oh, well, here we go. Retake attempt for Anonimo. Trying to get back in. There will be limited time. We can listen to the beeps. And ships and Dennis Long getting the frags. And now it's all on demo. The last remaining player for the retake. And I think we've all come to the conclusion that this one will not be happening. Although the Galil makes some rattly shots towards the end. It will be that boss going off. We don't need no HUD to tell us that. Because we can, we can hear that. We can see that. And demo. Or at least survive. It's three to one. Scared finally on the board, and I can't stress enough how much of an overperformance that was from Caliber. They shouldn't have won that round. Caliber just well, well, they wouldn't have won that round if it wasn't for Caliber's overperformance in Temple. That double kill should not have happened. I think if he doesn't get those kills, the smokes fade, and the bomb may not even get planted in that position. To be honest, because instead of fighting Caliber, they may have just been getting that kill onto the bomb. But well done by Skade on that A play. And oftentimes, teams can struggle to play the post plant on that A site even. Once you get the bomb down, it can be pretty difficult. A lot of teams are successful on those retakes, but Skade got back to, to very safe positions there and just won those couple of key fights they needed to confirm the round. CT economy is slightly all over the place. Demo saved the Galil, though, so I'm sure that leaves them with... Pretty good buy across the board. They got a brilliant buy. Does Demo drop Snacks a better gun? Or does he play with what he's got here? Snacks is going to get an AWP. Oh, yeah, they are. They are absolutely fine. They are stacked. That's a brilliant buy. For Scared, this is an important round for them. They win this round, then they reset the CT's economy. They're in with a shot at recovering the scoreline to equilibrium with 3-3. This is a big round for Scared. Same can be said for Anonimo. Economy on the line. Quicker play here from Scared. Already showing us some of those variations we were hoping to see on this T side. They've gone for an A play now. Uh, They're testing the waters towards mid. That's yeah, fire, like... not water, Alex. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> testing the fire out, and he can confirm fire still burns. It's a good experiment caveman. demo, I appreciate it. <laughs> the caveman discovered that long ago, but he just wanted to test that theory. Yeah, we have we don't touch fire. <laughs> is that is, is maybe that's just something they used to do back in the day. Sometimes well, you forget. Yeah. Self-immolation, not exactly recommended.
Oh, this B aggression again. This is nice for Anonimo. A lot of information and maybe Look even a flank this. as this play's happening. Yeah, I'm loving this from Kyla. This is Ooh, gonna ships, be spicy, though. but yeah, ships has gone into the cubby. They have silently dropped down those boxes, so he has absolutely no idea, but now he does. Oh, that's... If I'm Kyler, I'm tilted. That, that, I've just died to that. Ships just being a little lit lurk inside the middle of nowhere. He gets away with a second. Scared have lost a lot of health, but they're not losing players. They're keeping them alive, and they've got the two-man advantage. And Onimo, if they want to go for the retake, can have two extra pesky players sitting around. And that's going to cause too much of a problem, really, to look at this as a success story for Anonimo. They haven't got a kit alive in either of these two players, nor utility. They've got to get kills, and even that, okay, they found one, but they've got to deal with so many of these tight angles that Dennis Law is favored in. And Snacks, he invested so much getting this AWP out. Surely he just tries to back away with it, and he will do that. He'll stay alive and spawn. With the AWP, he doesn't know where it's safe. He doesn't know <laughs> where they are in this... God forsaken map, there's so many angles, so many cubbies, you can't really move anywhere. And Snacks will just sit back idly by and get that AWP into the next one. And there is the boy band, the freshest band in town now, Anonimo. Look at them, all lined up. Backstreet Boys, eat your heart out. I'm not sure the costumes are quite going to catch on. I feel like you've got to be a, a fashionable kind of person, right? Like a trendsetter. Yeah, but I, I, guess I, it's am, glad. I am glad they're using the default skids. <laughs> oh, of course. Because that's actually not enforced here, the, the Valve rule set, right? You can just play whatever you want. Yeah, I believe so. I'd definitely be playing the green character, man. Give myself every advantage. Pull the oh. machine. I wonder what Anonymous answer to these A plays will be. The last round they tried to push in for the flank, they get countered. This time they're playing more passively behind the smokes. So maybe setting up for the retake this time, oh, but... No oh, way. the spam through and just the pistols for the retake. They're going for it again. Damage going both ways right now. Yeah, really trying to make that spray work out. Anonymous haven't been able to pick up a kill. The ships again. Oh, that is clean. He's in behind him. This time at Elbow, he's had enough just with that one kill, he'll back away. And Onimo, they don't really have too much in this round anyway. It's that AWP for Snacks is the only real valuable asset. So you have Kevlar here as well. On Black Tears. But Skid are going to start backing away from that A site, leaving that bomb to go off. And we'll carry it over their weapons into the next tier Skid without losing a single player. It's fantastic. They're really building that economy on this T side now. Anonimo, we really do see them get in this situation quite often where they, they never really have enough money to buy on the CT side. It is, they're always in this 3K, $3,500 range where you're, you're close to buy, but you're never quite there. Uh, that's always frustrating. Feel like you're so close, but can't get the full buy together. Molly out from duplicate to help clear out the cave, and it will be clear initially. Still have to check all those cubbies in the actual cave itself. Haven't seen much action on the B site so far in these gun rounds. Might be around where we finally get to see what that looks like. It's CT aggression from Anonimo, though, wanting to take some control of their own. And they've done some good damage onto Dennis Law, at least, before playing back from the bomb site. Duplicate. Ooh, good kill from him. He's looking for a second, Kylo. When that Deagle. And that's why you double up in the cave. That's why you have two members there so you can get that trade kill through Rim Waker. Awaking the rainstorm here in the jungle. Ships. He's doing a classic snacks right now, isn't he? He has been a real pesky player to play against so far. He's about to do the snacks what he did earlier on. Ships oh, is about to knife him again. He's going to do oh, it again okay. with a headshot. This time, starts to come through. So, at least snacks is at least saved that embarrassment yet again. And here goes Innocent. One, a second, and eventually goes down to ships. Bomb about to be recovered. 
Can they figure out where Kyla's coming from, though? Because that bomb site is very exposed. You can't plant it safe. They decide they're just going to stick together instead. Now they're planting. Kyla can force the fight. First kill. Good. Kyla. Uh, oh, he can't get the second. Deeg out to try and finish oh. the job. And the nade combines with the deagle to do all the damage necessary. Kyla getting the timing just right on the flank to win the round. Yeah, what an unbelievable round from him, but we can't really overstate the fact that Innocent getting those two kills in Temple is again one of those overperformances that gives Anonymous the round here. Innocent shouldn't have been able to get away with those two kills, but he did. He found them. And that sets up Kyler for, yes, a possible clutch, but incredibly difficult. And Kyler makes it look easy. And it's going to be Anonymous into the lead again in a pretty unlikely round, and now their buy is through. For Skid, this is worrying, because they had everything set up for them there. They had the site, they had ships in, cutting down the defense, and they still lost the round. This is great for Anonimo. A great confidence boost, not only that, but cash injection as well. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be pretty happy with getting that round win. Puts them in position to, hopefully for their sake, start going on a streak. Dennis Law sitting back with this sniper. Again, yet to see too much action on this B side of the map. Now maybe is one of our early opportunities to see this B site hold tested. Demo going back towards cave. There's a player already pushed up. It could be difficult to clear this angle. The flash wouldn't do it. Duplicate now peeks into the position. Demo decides to drop back to try and play with his teammate. And duplicate inside of the smoke demo and it's been picked off that's going to be a big advantage for skate to have now and this smoke is not going to last forever eventually that's going to unveil both of these two plays and which one of them is going to come out on top it looks like kyler's in a better position right now to do it oh he's going to find a kill duplicate how how does he do that he's so quick just flicks to the head kyler didn't come out with a kill and now scared him with the two-man advantage, and they don't even care about B. They're going to run it back. They're going to go through mid and into the A site instead. Waiting over here right now is Snacks for the AWP. He's the only player close by, and he's in Temple. I don't know if Snacks is going to be able to do much about this, though. I think he just has to concede the bomb plan. And this is just not a great situation to be in for Anonymo, and it just keeps getting worse. Ships takes down Black Tears. Snacks is in the Temple, yes, but he be better be praying that something miraculous happens to him in the next moment here. Oh, there's okay. one. Is this the start of the miracle for Snacks? No. no, he's dead. He's out. No, it's over, Hawker. I feel like I've always got to believe slightly when I see Snacks. Yeah. If there's anyone you on get, the server yeah. who could do that sort of round, I'd, I'd say it's him. Yeah, because you know how high his ceiling is. It has to be. He's a giant dude. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I well, forgot to laugh. It's, like, it's 1am. You gotta <laughs> laugh at my terrible attempts at humor. <laughs> but my brain power is starting to deplete. And I don't have much of it anyway. So we're on the final reserves now. The think tank's starting to run empty. A play again. They're loving these A plays. Even the HUDs went to sleep. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that late in the day? Smokes again. A good oh, boost over the smoke for snacks. That's a switch up. I don't know if I've seen people do that before. It hasn't worked for Snacks. In fact, they've been mollied away. And with the bomb plan, Skade looks set for another round here. Unless Anonimo can get some quick kills. Uh -huh. I'll be in Twitch chat for you, Hawken. Well, actually, that boost was used on the 9th of September um, at approximately 16.42 by this uh, matchmaking player. So, actually, True. it has been used before. So, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure someone's done it before. <laughs> <laughs> well, Snacks brings down Dennis Law, but it's much of the same story here for Anonymous. It, it has just been this lose the site, back away, save their weapons, get Snacks and all for the next round. And it has been pretty underwhelming for the CT side so far. And a couple of victims to the bomb, but Skid won't worry about that. They actually get an AWP on the way out as well, that duplicate. Have a guess what that means, Alex. No pass R. No what, sorry? No pass R. Have a, have a guess what that means. Oh, it says no pass R on the screen, right? I, yeah, I thought yeah. you were actually just saying something I couldn't understand. Um, no entry. 
It's an probably. archaeological zone. Yep, probably. <laughs> okay, you didn't even know what it's been. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Well, I was just saying, have a guess what that means. I don't know. That doesn't mean I have the answer for you. But yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right. That's Molly yeah. from Duplicate again. You know what really confirms your tweet the other day, Alex, about CS being for sophisticated gentlemen? We actually had the argument as a community as to whether or not that was Jaguar or Cheetah, and we came to the conclusion it's Jaguar because the Cheetah is not found in this region of South America or North no, America. Don't, don't, get me, don't get me started on that. I still think that's dumb. Cheetah is just so much easier to say. Jaguar. 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 Cheetah. It's an F type. It's just a quicker call. Cheetah. Boom. Yeah. But, uh, but that's reserved for a certain day. <laughs> We got we got some people in the community might go by Cheetah. We might get confused. Oh, Kyler looking to hold Ooh. this key in play. Snacks looking to try and cross on by. There's one for Snacks as well on the follow up. Smoke's going to go on in towards Cave and flashes up in the air. This is looking to try and delay this attack for Skid. And while they have lost too many members already, you really got to try and pull this one out. Oh, and that Ned, no way. Snacks perfectly placed it. Now he's looking for the lineup to try and deny the plan. Not too far off, but that fall plan will go down. And Duplicate looking to try and duplicate those kills. He gets one more, he turns it into the 2v2. And Rainwaker now walking forward into what would be the wedding arms and scope of snacks. The smoke will keep you alive, yes, for the meantime, but that life support will eventually get turned off by an impatient family member. And you're all going to start dying in duplicate. He's coming through with all the kills and nearly gets the 4k. But just about saving the day yet again, another big 3k and a clutch out of Kylo. He'll pull that defuse through for his team. And then Onimo now tie up the scoreline yet again. This is going to be a very close game of Counter-Strike, isn't it, on this third map? Yeah, I think so. Late in the day. That B site, I, I still am not entirely sure how I feel about it because it just creates so much chaos in these rounds. It's pretty easy for the T's to take it initially, but then the CTs will often sit back and try and spam the bomb and then you get all these uh, just fights all over the, the whole site. It does feel quite chaotic at times, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I'm definitely intrigued to see if anyone can figure anything out on it long term. Snacks getting aggressive. The auto shot is also up close. And wow, Black Tears goes ahead and absolutely destroys the first man. The Molly will keep them in place, though. So they finally trade. But it's not a favorable trade for Skade. You're a poet, Alex, among other things. Anonimo. With the man advantage. I thought you were going to gonna insult me when you said other things. I thought you were going to say some bad things. I mean, that, that's just left up to your opinion of yourself. You know, mm. you don't really have to go with specifics. It can be a positive comment. It can be a compliment if you have a good self-image or a horrible insult if you have a poor self-image. It's, it's one of those. I think it more is what I expect you to tell me personally. <laughs> and I think you're a negative <laughs> force in my life. <laughs> I'm sorry, Alex. Yeah, my, um, my, I can't even think of the word that I'm trying to say right now. <laughs> All right, well, not a very psychic. good Psychic, that was the not word very... I was going to use. I was going to pretend <laughs> I had a psychic who told me that you're giving me too much negative energy. That was going to oh. be the joke, but it kind of um, got ruined. Well, here we are. And it's going to be Dennis Law trying to make this round work for his side. He's actually found the important goal that's given him the advantage, but often being the player to turn these rounds in the favor of Anonimo has been Kylo. And he looks to do it again. He's in behind the smoke right now, and that will confirm the bomb plan, at least here for the T. Scared now. Oh, they eliminate Kylo, so it's all on snacks. No kit, no utility for the clutch chair for the pole, but... He'll just hang around. I think he realizes this one's not too likely to be won. So you're just going to walk around and scour the landscape like an architect trying to find his fossils. Not too much up for grabs here. Is it not a mystic hawker? Uh, maybe. I, I was just I was struggling too much to think of the word, so... Yeah. You know roughly what I mean. Yeah, it's one of those people that scam people. Like, 6-5 on the board. And Snacks does save on to his AWP. As usual, Snacks will carry an AWP over. And 6-5 on the board now for Skid. 
You take a look at how much money they have available for this T side. You cannot complain at all. For a normal, their their economy has gone into the bin. Yeah, they're gonna have to take out some loans soon. Another scam, of course. It's just kind of consistently sucked for Anonymo, honestly. Like, their economy is just yeah. always... There's just been a lot of rounds like this, where Skate are getting easy round wins because there's not much. Oh, I like this, though. Oh, I like this. wow. Snacks is there quick, and they have no idea. You cannot blame them, Snacks. How has he got so quick? It's the, it's the, to them, it's the portal gun. But to us, we know what happened. That was one of the first plays I think I saw, like, theorized on this map when people were first yeah. looking. They, they realized, I can run boost this. And you don't see it in pro play too I, often. But finally, I, remember, I get to see it. I remember Hugo and I ran for, like, about an hour trying to do, the like, the, the self-boost, like, the self-jump onto it. Oh, that's that's impossible. I think we completed, I mean, it's like, not six times in an hour. Yeah, it's, it's very hard. Oh, it's a shame that kill might not lead to much because Skate fight back quite quickly. Oh, Innocent really had a chance there, but spray to the body is good enough for Dennis Law, and Snacks oh. has been baited by ships. Once that up shot fires, you know you've got the kill. You can start to smirk. Black Tears goes down at the end. 7-5 Skade. Really solid T side so far. From what I've seen, most teams are getting most of their rounds on CT here on Ancient. So, Skate coming through like this, it's definitely a positive sign for them. Anonimo, uh, the, the worrying part for me is uh, a large part of the rounds have either come at the very beginning of the, of the game or have been big clutches from individuals which aren't sustainable to, to do time and time again. So. It does worry me uh, that the scoreline may slightly be inflated Ooh. by a decent start. That That's is not ugly. a good smoke. At all. No. I, it won't be bad, though, because there's no one going mid, yeah. thankfully. But they're going A again. Yeah, it's a good A take. Again, that flash in towards the sign is so good. Everybody should be throwing that. If you aren't at home in your matchmaking games, get learning that flash point. It's great for entries. Just throw it out to the left side, but here it is. The retake attempt from Anonimo. Looking to try and get back into the site. Snacks, oh my goodness, of course, of course, of course. Snacks is so sneaky. So good. Sneaky Snacks in behind. A couple of players not looking as white. This is so huge for Snacks. He's got the lineup. He's got two. And now it's a chance here for Anonimo. Snacks has got into the site, but he didn't spot Calibre. He thought his teammates could have dealt with that. Ships now on the Snacks. He play. And he's in behind, but he's not quite able to do it. He's the budget version, and he's down. And it's going to be the defuse as Anonimo take themselves six rounds. Snacks on the flight. Is there anything more Snacks than that? I swear Snacks has an invisibility cloak sometimes. I feel like if it's any other player, that gets cleared. And for him, he could just sit there and they run past him. He's got a ghillie suit. Yeah, clearly. I mean, you could actually basically have a ghillie suit on this map if you chose the green skin. Yeah. Uh, they, they don't this time. Wow. Uh, great from Snacks, obviously, uh, to get that double in behind, to let that first man run by. Because he realizes if this player just keeps running, he doesn't have any outcome in the round. He, he's not going to help out at all. If I just get two kills, we're probably winning the retake. That's exactly what happens. He could even call that that player has a good chance of flanking through mid, which is what happened. And one of the Anonimo players was re ready for it. So just really, really impressive for Snacks to have the discipline there to do that. The aggression again from Anonimo. This hasn't been too successful so far. It's a team flash. That's a disaster. Ooh, and a man advantage here for Skade. He's starting to look pretty good as they're held off at Cave right now, but you don't have to worry about it. Oh, God. Okay, there's a little bit of a gap there. I couldn't see that. Snacks couldn't see it, but Duplicate certainly could from his point of view. And Dennis Law has continued to mow them down in Anonimo. Well, after what was an incredible round from Snacks in the previous, has just been turned right back to rescheduling and normal services have resumed. Scared back to winning ways. We're heading into the last round of this first half. Money once again for Anonimo is in the bin. They just have, they're just, you know what they're doing right now, Hawker? They're going down to the local shop and they're buying scratch cards. They keep winning enough to get a buy. And then at this point, they're back down to poverty because they spent it all again. And buy more scratch cards. That's never the life you want to be living. You want at least a little a little money spare in the bank. You never know when something's going to go wrong. What if you your know PC the most breaks? The part about scratch cards is just the just the sensation of just scraping off the, the break stuff. I don't think I've ever done a scratch card to be honest. Really? 
Maybe I have, but I don't remember doing it. Oh, well, I scratch. Skate again. It's just all yeah. skate right now. It's just easy for them. And Black Tears is 15 HP. And this is kind of what you expect, right? There was not much invested into this really worthwhile talking about for Anonimo. And so Skate are about off. to eliminate them. A 9 6 half coming in for them. And Black Tears are just moments away from death, I'm sure, at this point. Stuck inside a oh, bit knife. the bomb goes down. Oh, a knife. They're following him. There he goes. Shit with the knife. Prey here. No. Okay. Oh, unfortunate. 9 6 half, though, coming in. An Onimo behind. We'll see if they can pull it back going into the second half, but we'll scared head to IEM Fall. Find out after the break. Nine six half for Scared versus Anonymo Esports here on Ancient. It's the final map of the day, and just one more half. We will find out which team are heading to the Intel Extreme Masters Fall Main event, and which team will have to battle it down in the lower bracket. My name is Nico, joined by Hawker for the final time today. Well, I said the final half, but we could have overtime. That's a possibility between these guys. We're hopping right into the second pistol. Scared looking good so far, though, considering. They're up 9-6 going into their CT side. I think they are heavily favored at this point, especially because Anonimo were winning rounds far and few between on the gun rounds. They needed some hero plays to win any gun rounds in that first half. Let's see if their T side looks any better. They're already approaching this B-bomb site. 
Caliber here to begin with, looking for kills. Oh. We can't find them. Finally hits one with the turnaround, and in comes Danny Slaw, trying to do some damage, and he delivers a couple of kills, but it's back to a 2v2. Yeah, to, to be fair to Caliber, it's incredible he even gets one out of that. He was being pushed from two fronts, and Kylar, he has some big rounds in the first half for Anonimo. He's still alive and kicking alongside Innocent. Ooh. Oh, they're going to get a leaf B. They're going to go all the way back over towards A. Don't know how much time's left, unfortunately, but I'm sure there's plenty. They're going to look for that bomb plant. Has to be this retake attempt now for Scared. They have to realize they've actually gone. How have they done that? They're back at A, so we have to come back over here. Ships has got a CZ into this one. Well, for you Americans that are probably awake now, CZ. Innocent. Good kill on the Glock. Just ships now left alone. We know he's incredible with his gun, and now he's got a chance. Running out of ammo, though. Has to go for the reload. One versus one. He's done damage onto Innocent, who is on 30 HP into this. Ships does not have a kit, though, so that time will start to tick on. And this Temple, such a strong position. So elusive is Innocent. He's gone all over the place. Ships having to run him down. Oh, Innocent just playing with his food, running the clock down. There's a kit down on the floor, but there's still not enough time, even with that, surely. Chips is going to run back to the bomb. Oh, but it's really ticking on. Is he going to have enough time? He's going to stick it anyway. Let's see how close it is. Beep it away. And Chips just does not have enough time. All right, it's not going to be good enough for him. You see, he comes close with that kit just a little too far away. And Innocent does such a good job at just running that clock down. Yeah, he realized the kit was there, which is why he knew he could actually run over and try and have a chance. But Innocent did a really good job himself at just surviving just finding the possessions where he was safe. Almost even got around the corner. CZ was able to shoot him in the back in the end. But Anonimo get that pistol round, which was pretty important for them, considering they were losing control of this map as that first half played out. Now they've got a chance to try and build some success. Uh -oh. oh, my. Rain Waker in behind. Oh, no. How have they traded that position? Black Tears has no idea. Oh, no. It's because they got hey, is clear. Come on in, Snacks. Come on in. Snacks doesn't trust his teammate. Wow. <laughs> doesn't even trust his teammate, but still gets domed. He's dead, though. Still gets domed. And Black Tears... Oh, what? okay. How has Rain Waker <laughs> done this? Oh, oh, they pushed through B. This is just a nightmare for Anonimo. <laughs> And getting absolutely shredded. Here goes Kyler into the site. Headshot onto Dennis Wall, swinging out with an oh, eagle. Two looking. How has Kyler done that? He's been so good so far, and he continues to be the impactful player they need. Innocent pulling it back. Even Kyler's on one HP. I know what Twitch chat is spamming right about now. But Ships is looking to turn them into 1v1s. Likes to the right side. He will find Kyler. Overkill with a headshot. Now he can just get onto the defuse. No kit again here. It's deja vu for Ships and Innocent. They're back again in this scenario. Ships has tapped the bomb. Innocent. Not even peeking him. Eventually we'll run into the fight. Ships with a headshot. Pulled him into the open. Well played that from Ships. Great discipline. But is there time for the defuse? This time around, Ships has to be the 10 seconds. He's going to stick it right down to the final seconds. And there is this time. Just about wow. the final millisecond on that timer. And Ships gets it through. So 1-1 one, one in the best of three of Innocent and Ships in the run versus one. I didn't think he had that either. It was very close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. And Shit. obviously Innocent had to respect the fact that it could have been that stick defuse the whole time. He knew it was unlikely they had a kit in that round. Yep. So he was hoping that he could run in before the full 10 seconds. That's why he goes for the commitment. He thought if the player was off the bomb, he might not have time to stick it. But just about ships getting there in the nick of time. You can see that this game is getting sloppy, though. And you can't blame either of these teams at this point. Yeah, it's pretty late in the day for both of them. 30 a.m. for everyone here. It's pretty late in the day. Indeed. A crash won't be again from Skade. Rim Waker's been real quiet. The demo as well on the other side of things, but Rim Waker actually going to take him down. The battle of the bottom. Rim Waker is the bottom feeder master. We have five versus three. Skated with this two-man advantage, feeling quite comfortable now. For Anonymous, they do have an AK in the hands of Snacks, and you often call this the hero AK. Well, Snacks has been the hero on many occasions, and he's going to try and do it again. A headshot 
onto Ram Waker. Will they expect a double setup though? Ships in this corner, I don't know if they will expect the second play. Once you clear that spot for one time, I don't think you are ready for ships. And this AK should make it all go away. The pain, the merciless kills. Oh, it should can start he see to come foot? through. Oh my god, he might just see the foot, but Snacks always vision. He's getting old, he can't see it. He can't spot him out, Hawker. It's not something he's aware of. And that's that. That's what I'm telling you. This is going to be ships just getting easy kills now at this point. That's one. He's going to get a second out of it as well. Finally, Black Tears takes him out of play. And into the one versus two to try and give an Onimo the eighth round. In so many hero plays, but this time it's shut down. Duplicate through the smoke. The MP9 comes in and an upgraded M4A1S on their way out. Cool setup from Skade. Either way, it, it, even though the rounds, it's kind of weird again with how Anonymo slowly trickle out there. They got the aggression on B, they got all the info, and then they made sure they had a setup on A where they were baiting and switching because Anonymo weren't likely to expect so many players on that A bomb site. So smart stuff from Skade. They also had the man in Donut ready to help out if necessary, and Anonymo are done with those spread slow rounds across the map. Box are going to go for something faster onto B, but this could be a death trick. Caliber on the double, it's switched out to the USP instead. Okay, the Glock just flies through the sky and eliminates Caliber duplicate on the double and demo in with one. And as Law shuts that bomb down, swiftly rolling to his feet, and it really does feel like Skate are getting into autopilot now. This is the same situation. It really reminds me of Inferno, where we had this early first half, couple of rounds from Anonimo, couple of big individual moments. But when it comes to systems and what will win you the, the game in terms of longevity in, in the long run, it's the Skate system in play that really has a, a big advantage. Anonymo do have a couple of new players in the mix, so that could also affect things. Maybe in the long run they will be able to get up to speed more, but right now, not looking too hot for them here in this one. Again, reminder, there is a lower bracket. One more chance for the loser to qualify. The winner goes straight through to the main event here at IEM Full. Skade looking more likely to be that winner right now. Spread start to the round from Anonimo again. They put a few players at B, making noise, who will now start to walk back to spawn. You can't run through this water because of the sound glitch. Look at Skade, though, pushing through B themselves, getting that information back, and now we should see that rotate start towards A. Skade just know. They know too much, Dinko. Yeah, sometimes knowledge is a burden. Ball. Yeah, they're one of those mystics you were talking about earlier, Alex. I can tell you your future. And I think the future of this round is going to be an anonymous A play, if I'm to put my money on it. Here it goes. Caliber pushes through on the elbow. He's found Snacks, the big player, and he is out of that. And Dennis Law with a lineup. He's got himself two kills. Demo trying to scrap together what he can for Anonimo. You know, left in the wild with not many resources. About to starve to death. Unless they get a couple of kills and some space in the middle of the site. Those smokes will start to fade away. Smoke at Temple will reveal three players inside of the Temple right now. And that is going to be too difficult to handle for an Anonimo. That bomb is going to the site. They're waiting for some aggression into them. I'm sure the time on this clock is now running a little dry. And there it is. A round is done. They don't want to be hunted down through Intimate, and luckily they hang on to the weapons after the time. So 13-7 to 7 for Scared, 3 away from Victory here on Enchin. And for this team, 3 rounds away from Intel Extreme Masters Fall, the last RMR before the Major. It's a LAN as well. Mo yeah. Just a small note. It's a LAN event. I haven't had too many to of those. Yeah, there's, and there's quite a few teams making it, right? Quite a few of, uh, just lots of teams, basically, from this qualifier get to make it. So we'll, we'll get to see some different names, maybe at the LAN, which will be very fun to watch out for. Anonymous money is so bad here again. Two saved AKs, sure, but the other players can't buy around it. So it's mainly those two AKs to work with. And Kyla has to go through the smoke first. One of those AKs dropped early. I'm sure someone else will pick it up, but it's still not ideal. Get it to Snacks. He's got the Kevlar. Yeah, toss that on over. He might be able to get you something out of this, but scared. 
given the advantage. And you don't really want to let go of this. They're going to try and follow up on this well. Caliber with a little bit of a boost, but that smoke starts to fade away. Black just had a perfect position and snacks. He even oh. does it on the P250. Quick tap to the head of ships and suddenly an Onimo charging forward into the B site. We're going to try and take the site by storm, but that bomb has been picked out of the sky. It's down on the ground and that's right, so the squad now starting to rotate on over. Rain Waker dropping them like flies. Demo's taking damage, but he doesn't go down. And Caliber, who's 12 HP, has to win the one versus two. They know where he is, and they've doubled up. Perfectly played there in the 1v2. Anonimo with another round. There we go. That's what Anonimo needed. Because now we could very well have a game in our hands. Skayed out of money on the CT side. This round will be one where they may just think about forcing. Their money is that bad. They'll go for the investment here. And that means if Anonimo win this round, they should get another one off the back of it. And they should get themselves into a position where they have a good chance to make this a competitive game again. Because it felt like Skade were running away with things. So that's a really good sign. And that boost as well to get the kill onto the B site was a cool way of playing it. That AK without Kevlar... Is still going to be impactful if you get the drop on your opponent. The aim punch won't be a factor. And that's what happened there to get them onto that B site. Well played by Anonimo to win that round. Now they just need to make sure they can hold on to this one against the lower buy. Currently sitting outside this B site where Skade have players close by. They haven't spotted them yet. Nate does good damage to Duplicate though. And no, oh, great shot from Duplicate. Yeah, great, great kill and scared. This could be a round they can pull off. We know they're capable of making these ridiculous Not rounds again. happen. Yeah, well, you know this player, the reason he calls himself Duplicate is he never does one thing. He has to do it twice, Hawkey. You know, if he does it once, he's got to do it again. And that's Duplicate out. He doesn't die twice. Impossible, but Rain Waker Ooh. is going to start charging forward. A nice snappy headshot. It's all starting to unravel now. The T side are crumbling up against weak guns, up against the weak purchase. And it's Demo with a 1v3. He's going to make it work. And Caliber just with a headshot. Oh, that is just a stupid round. That's a backbreaker. I've ever seen one Hulk. That might just be it. That might be the round that ends this game at this point. Anonymous have Even. a decision to make. What are they going to do in this round? That's true. Their money sucks too now. You see the way they even shuffled those guns at the end there? Yeah. Like, just before time ran out, they threw the AWP back, they threw the AK, they get them both, they save all the guns they needed. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, I'm excited. So clean with it. Because, obviously, it would be cool to see the Poles uh, going through as well. They still have a chance, but scared the Bulgarians playing on LAN? That's what we want to see. You know, ship's back. We know what he can do on LAN. We've seen the DreamHack opens in the past. We've seen Dennis Law just deliver some mad moments online i want to see that on LAN. and uh, you got a really exciting team here over on skid and anonimo well it's looking a little rough for them at the moment but has been a great matchup between these two teams approaching 2 a.m in europe so these guys really playing on into the late hours or the the wee hours of the morning as you get into this, that'll be that smoke for the B ramp being lined up for Skate. They're going to go for this mid take. Investment did come through for Anonymo, so that's my answer there. There you go. They go for the investment. And you know what? An A play might not be a bad idea here if they went for it early. Well, that's what and they're doing. The smokes are being lined up. But you got to go with whatever utility you've thrown, right? You can't really allow. You can't fake it. You have no option here. You just got to go. And Skate are aware of that. They're going to start rotating players over the eight, trying to get there on time. If Rainwork can peek over the top and get one hit, that could be a huge decisive factor. But you got flashed, you got mollied. We're not having the best of times in that smoke right now, and that's going to be a bomb plant in the chaos for Anonimo. No kills yet, but that's changed now. Rainwork has picked up the first. Edison fires back for his team, fights all over the place, duplicate out of ammo, but Rainwaker here to help, and they have smokes remaining for this position, Demo will be stuck behind Utility, 1v4, there's just no chance for him, Skade have 15 rounds confirmed, just one away from their spot at IM4. Yeah, this is looking like it's almost locked in for Skade, it's written in the stars in Onimo, if they want to stop that from happening, they have to be flawless. 
Luckily, that bomb plant gave them just enough cash to get AK-47 and Kevlar out in this one. Maybe they'll have a couple of flashes, smokes here and there, and a few players. But utility is going to be sparse, so you can see some of the players now taking that bite and going down to a weaker gun. Galil Mac-10s, utility out in play here for Anonimo. Scared are just one round away from securing their hopes and dreams of playing on one of the biggest lands you can. The qualify for the major. It's a play up in towards this B site. Pressure applied early from Anonimo. It has been met with fire and fury. One for one trades immediately at the beginning of this one. They start their charge through. They're relentless in their approach. They throw the Molotov deep and Ships is trying to fight it. He is forced back in behind Cube and will have to take up. Position. A little more passive, but he got the lineup. He has the perfect lineup, so no bomb plant in for Anonimo. And another peek out from Duplicate. This is looking all but done. It's just Snacks. It's the veteran. It's the hero. The talisman for the team. But this is a step too far, even for a player of his grand troop. It's one for Snacks, but it's done. Scared are heading into the Intel Extreme Masters Fall. The LAN event is coming their way, and they have done it in style, Hawker. They have done it without.